Welcome back everyone to the complete pine leaf. We are back here in the Mead Hall of Stoke where we need to report to the Reeve that the person we're looking for has run off. The man you pursue must be made to pay for his crimes. This tale is believable, but it makes my sorrow no less. Instead, it fans the flames of my anger. This man you pursue must be made to pay for his crimes. He sought to send you to the Norcrofts. His pride will be his undoing, for by revealing his charade, we have discerned his next course. He wanted you to look eastward? Turn your eyes westward, and you will find where next leads his schemes. After teaching the orcs of Beres Doram how best to attack Stoke, this cunning snake of yours fled to the Broad Acres. I'm certain of it. He has gone to the Stone Deans. Hmm. If this snake has entered the Stone Deans, they must be warned of the danger he poses. I have no close ties with my neighbors to the west, save the oaths that we share, but I wish them no harm. If this snake has entered into the Stone Deans, they must be warned of the danger that he poses. A secret enemy, combined with the dangers that they already face, endangers the whole of my writing. He must be stopped, and now only a few know his face. You have seen it as has poor departed Wigbald. Bring this knowledge to Reeve Hevermond in the Stone Deans. His seat is in the town of Woodhurst, located in the northern region of the Stone Deans. Hevermond is very old, and there are whispers that he has been in poor health of late. If he is indisposed, you should speak with his wife, Briant. She is of Dunlandish blood, but she is strong in her own right. Mm. Must be in some kin of Nona then. Alright. To the Stone Deans? Or to Oserly? I have arrived in the Stone Deans on a rather wet morning. Hello there, Nona. This looks like any other village of the Horse Lords to me. Horn tells me that this town is home to many people of Dunlading and Rohiric blood. Do they maintain the traditions both of my people and of Horn's people? Or have they forgotten from where they came in order to survive in this land? I do not see much I recognize the Leocluth in this town. The buildings are wrong. The land is wrong. Will the people prove otherwise? Well, I have no idea. What do you say, Horn? So near to Dunland, many of the folk of this town share ancestry with the Dunlanding tribes. This is Woodhurst. I have desired to see it for some time. So near to Dunland. Perhaps Known and I will be able to find a place here when all is through, perhaps. What is still a good while, hence, I do not doubt it. But my heart tells me that Woodhurst would be more welcoming to us than my own town home of Aylworth. Well, we have more pressing matters than this. Let us find Reeve Harriman and report to him of the dangers of this town that they may face. All right. I shall find the Reeve. And we can only hope that... He will be able to help us, or at least that we could help him. Apparently, things aren't going well here. I was told at the Mead Hall that Briant, his widow, could be found right here. Let's speak with her. The blood of the Hale Tribes flows through me, but they are no longer my people. You are welcome in Woodhurst, but you do not see her at her best. My husband has finally succumbed to death, but I cannot properly mourn for him. I must mourn too for our city, for it is held in the grip 
of Adunading invaders. The blood of the hills tribe flows through my veins, but they are no longer my people. Well, Nona will be uh, saddened to hear that. When I wed Heramund and came to live in his lands, and when I gave him a son, then I was no longer of my tribe. I was part of a new tribe. <sighs> Those who hold this meat hall and bring war to my home may share my blood, but they spill the blood of those I love. Now we are enemies. You have my thanks for this warning that you bring, but Woodhurst is already in peril. What is one more threat upon the pile of my people? Speak to my son, Herobrand. He rules now in place of his father. I will answer any questions of yours that I am able. Hmm. What, what are... Speak to my son, Herobrand, and help him defeat the invaders from Dunland. All right, I shall help him. He seems to be holding court here as well as he's able. And he doesn't seem to be very fit at the moment. Probably the same circumstances that killed his father. You wish to help. Good. There are not enough folk willing to help oh, with the problems of others in these trying times. My son, Herafara, is doing all that he can, as am I. But we cannot be everywhere. There will always be somewhere we are not. You may not know much of these invaders, but I do. They call themselves the Drygluth, and they worship worms and lizards of all sorts. But their loyalty has been bought by Saruman, and they go where he commands. Well, I've run into the Drygluth before, and... I think they go where they cause the most trouble, and if that gives them coin from Saruman at the same time, then they're more than willing to do so. Yes, defeat these Dragluth invaders wherever you find them throughout the Sondines. You will find Dragluth aplenty in Woodhurst, to, to my sorrow, and my mother's. Yeah, I'm sure it'd be quite to her sorrow. All right, let's find these Dragluth invaders. This seems to be the part of town where these Dragluth have invaded. Yeah, he looks like the rough sort. Hello there! Yeah? What do you mean, threatening me? I'll tell you, you should get out of town if you're going to be doing that. Well, what do you say about that? So that's what you got to say about that. Well then, I guess you must be the ruffians here that are plaguing this area. I gave you a chance to go out peacefully, but no... You did not at all. And anyway, I see the mark of the dragon on you. And that's never a good sign. Never a good sign anywhere. Now, let's see. We've got a couple of more here. Okay. You're threatening me? Very well, then. I will teach you to do that. And now, your turn. You, you saw what happened to him. So much for them. I knocked a few Dragluth heads. The Dunlendings cannot defeat us, me and my son. We are invincible. You've done well, my friend. Soon this land will be free of their clutches. My son and I will do what we can against the Dragluth, and they can't defeat us! I speak not in riddles, Pineleaf, and do not exaggerate my prowess or that of my heir. The Dunlendings can't defeat us. We're invincible! Uh, are you sure about that? Just wondering... It is true. An old soothsayer lives among the mounds and speaks words of prophecy. 
Yes, and old Zeusera has foretold that I will die at an orcish hand, as will my firstborn son. <laughs> Never before has knowledge of coming death been so welcome pinely. For if it be my fate to die at an orcish hand, well, no Dunleting will be able to land a hand upon me. Thus far, it has proven so. Speak to your companions, and if they agree to the journey, I will bring you before the soothsayer Hildegard. Perhaps she will read your fate as well. Aha. You do realize that there are a bunch of half orcs and orcs and the like in the nearby broad acres, and if they came this way, you're in trouble? Just, just, just saying, just saying, just saying. I delivered the warning, but it appears that they have more pressing matters on their hand. We could only hope that we either run into our prey somewhere else, or that he is able to do very little harm without his brooch. <sighs> Herobrand is a fool to believe the words of this soothsayer. And you also talk about a soothsayer? Such mystics never speak plain, but deal in riddles to confuse the weak-minded. Herobrand is a fool to believe the words of this Hildegard. I will go with you to this cave if Nona desires it, but I beg of you, do not put much stock in the words of the soothsayer. There are many mysteries in this world, but I think it likely that Hildegard is merely a woman with an addled mind. The soothsayer will speak in riddles and lies. Mark my words well, for they tell the future. Pah! Well, I, I, I take it then he doesn't think much about soothsayers. Well, what do you think about soothsayers, Nona? A soothsayer lives in this land? I am filled with delight! Yes, soothsayers truly possess the power of foretelling the fates. Do you remember the dream that drew us across the mountains? We could not fathom its meaning, but a soothsayer such as the one of which Herobrand speaks is more skilled at reading such visions than the likes of us. Return to Herobron and humbly beg him to bring us before the soothsayer. She could tell us much. She could tell us much. Maybe she could tell us what happened to the person we're looking for? We have decided to accept your invitation to visit the soothsayer. Let us see what Hildegard has to say of your own future. Are you prepared to depart then? Good, good! Let's see what she has to say about your future. May it be so rosy as my own, which frees my hand to battle against the Dunlading invaders. Well, I don't know if I would call being killed by orcs would be a boon for me, considering how often I run into them. Well, let's go. Rubbish and nonsense. Herobrand may believe the words of this soothsayer, but I will not fall for her trickery. Well then, let's see what we have then. We have arrived finally. Hildegard has sight of many things still to come, and the source of her power is unknown to me. Many of my kinsmen call it witchcraft, sorcery such as that practiced by the elves. But I say Hildegard is a woman of Rohan, and remains so. Speak with her, with courtesy. With courtesy, all right? Mind your feet. She's accustomed to the dark. Remember, friends, be courteous. Well, I, best to remind Horn of that. Hildegard, I have returned. Am I welcome? Ah, young Herobrand, you're welcome at this time. Your visits brighten my dark days. I am not alone, Hildegard. You bring your son, Herifara? 
He speaks sparingly, but he too is welcome. No, I bring friends from afar. Ah, let them approach and introduce themselves. Remains a woman of Rohan. I am taller than her. This woman of Rohan is shorter than a hobbit. Hmm. Pine leaf needles. It's a pleasure to meet you, friend of Herobrand. Many are the roads you have walked to get here, and many more you will walk before you are at last given rest. Well, that's no huge jock. Much that which you've done already is known to me. But there is much ahead of you I cannot see. May I ask what adventuring discipline you call your own? See, I am... Hmm, I am a warden and hold the line against evil. Hildegard looks at you silently, the corner of her mouth turned upward with amusement. Your prowess speaks for itself, humble warden. I know you hold the line against evil and defend good folk of all lands. I know too that you will be called upon to do so in the dark days ahead. This is snow farcing, any could see that. What is your name, doubting one? Should you not already know my name? Your discourtesy shames your horn. I did not bring you before Hildegard so that you might insult the woman. But worry not, Herobrand, I am not offended by disbelief. Pine leaf, do you believe in my gift? Well, I don't know if it's a gift. Hildegard remains silent, her expression a mystery. You see, much pine leaf, few folk understand the truth of it. Is it a gift to know what comes, or is it a burden? I cannot choose what I see, and how often it fills me with fear and sorrow. But it is a gift, Hildegard. With the sight, you can see, see many things. Come here, girl. What is it, Hildegard? You kindle, child. Oops. She burns with the heat of battle. Be silent, foolish man. I have battles to fight. They will not wait. It will be some time yet. That is the way of it. <laughs> yeah, maybe a couple of months left. This woman speaks in riddles and rubbish, Pine Leaf. If she has knowledge of days to come, why does she not spell it out for us plain? Were she to do that, perhaps I would give her the belief. But until then, I remain unconvinced. You say that you can see events of days to come? Tell me what awaits me and prove your claim true. I cannot say. I thought as much. There is no straight path through this life. Have you heard the tale of Willingly Doubting One? Of course, all children of Rohan have heard it. I have sung the tale myself a dozen times at least. Do you believe it? I will not be tricked by this woman. I will wait for you outside. Horn! Oh, Horn, wait! All right. I can't believe Horn will act this way, Pine Leaf. Has he closed his eyes to everything we have experienced in this journey? We share the maddening outlook of his people. Suvlik would not understand him at all. <sighs> 
We cannot choose to whom we give our hearts, Pine Leaf. That is our lot. But I might have chosen one less stubborn from out of all the kingdoms of men. <sighs> I see a great battle. Hildegard, what is it? A vast army marches outside the walls. I see a white horse penned by shadows. Your love lies upon the broken ground, his shield shattered. Horn! What else do you see? I see death. No! The list of the dead is long. The minstrels mourn. Hildegard, what can we do? Uh, yeah, I didn't think she'd be happy to hear that. The soothsayer Hildegard stands upright, staring forward sightlessly. She is still breathes, but she no longer appears to see either you or Nona. What do you say of this, Nona? Pine Leaf, what can we do? If Hildegard speaks the truth, it means Horn will fall in battle. A good death for any warrior. But he is not just about any warrior, Pine Leaf. He is mine. And it is not glory that he seeks. I know this to be true. I will keep Horn from meeting this end. Others have fought their fates. Why not Nona, daughter of Suvlik, sister of Wadu? You will help me in this, Pine Leaf. You will say none of this to Horn. Do you understand? What do you say, Nona? We must do something. I need time to think. Yes, Hildegard is as powerful as I had feared. And now I wish she was not. Her words give shape to a grim tomorrow. And I do not want to believe that it will come to pass. Am I to lose Horn as I have lost my brother? That I don't know. And what do you have to say, Horn? Rubbish and lies. The words of that woman prey upon the fears and hopes of all those who listen to her. Herobrand is a fool if he believes himself to be invisible on account of Hildegard's witless ramblings. I cannot believe Nona sets any stock upon these words of this woman. She has my heart always, but... I'm saddened by her belief in this nonsense. By her belief in this nonsense. Well, that is a bit of a problem. But now that we have delivered our message and found that our prey has fled, I think it is time for us to head back and reach Ozerly, which is where you'll find me in the next episode of The Complete Pine Leaf.